they're actually providing me with a bike down there. Oh, they're shipping bikes over that you will use. Well, they, they're made in Spain, so there's oh. already bikes over so there. We'll get the bike. In just five months, yeah. Kelowna dirt biker Megan Griffiths oh, will be on her way to Spain to represent Canada in the 2016 International Six-Day Enduro Competition. So it's been going for a little over 100 years now, and um, it's just, it's getting pretty big. I think there's around 600 racers in it every year and from 35 different countries. So I think it's gonna be pretty open and fast. Uh, lots of grass track and there will be motocross sections. And then of course, I'm hoping there's gonna be wood sections in between. The BC native is partial to the wood sections, but is new to the motocross scene. Not that her inexperience will hold her back at the upcoming race. Six days of racing, I think you're on the bike for eight hours a day. Like, it's pretty demanding. It's, and you've gotta, you have to, at the end of each day, you have to change your own tires and fix your own bike in a allotted period of time. And it's just, so it's a test of everything, really. Your skills on the bike, your mechanics, your, your bike holding up to that abuse, it's pretty crazy. Riding since the age of 16 and racing since 21, this will be her first race outside North America. I do the hair scrambles and cross countries here in BC. And then I've also done a couple of races down in the States. There's a desert race called the Desert 100 in Odessa, Washington. And I, so I've done that one the past four years and this year I won it. So I'm pretty excited about that. This race will take a lot of endurance and Griffiths has been training hard. Something she wants other riders, especially women, to know isn't impossible. For women in the sport, I just want them to know, like, don't be intimidated and like you're, you're capable of doing anything that the guys are doing. It just takes a little practice and determination and like we're totally capable of doing just as well. Megan is looking for support to help her with her race in Spain come this October. She started a GoFundMe page at GoFundMe.com Racing for Canada. She's hoping to raise about $5,000. For Castanet News, I'm Jen Zielinski in Kelowna.